I love writing. I am at peace when I write. I guess you could say this is one of the ways I connect with God. Right now, I'm writing about the stallion. I once heard a stallion being likened to that of a meek person. It's a picture of a creature who is graceful and powerful, beautiful in its strength, but allowing itself to be controlled by its rider. It's an incredible picture, actually. Great strength under control. Are we to be like the stallion, giving control of our lives over to the Lord? It seems like an obvious answer. However, there was a time when I did not want to give God this control. Ten years ago, I thought I had control over my life. I was married and I had four great, wonderful kids. It sounded like the perfect life, right? But this was all about to change. My marriage was in turmoil and we were headed towards divorce. I now had to get used to an uncertain future. I realized I was now facing a less than perfect life of a single mother. I thought to myself, how can I provide for my family? Will I lose everything? You see, I used to have a lot of pride. I wanted to be in control, to make plans and to do whatever it took to make those plans come to pass. I knew God, but I wanted things my way. But the divorce, it changed everything. I knew I had to put my desire to be in control aside and surrender to the Lord. So I prayed. To be honest, it was more like pleaded, asking God to provide for us. God is faithful. I asked Him what I was going to do. He sent me a verse of scripture. Isaiah 54, 5, For your Maker is your husband. The Lord God Almighty is His name. I felt at peace. The God of the universe was reassuring me. He told me that I did not have to worry. He would be my husband and provider. Now, I'm not saying everything was easy going from that point on. Those were tough times. But I was comforted, knowing that God was always nearby. In those days, and still today, He would often wake me up in the middle of the night and drop a scripture reference into my mind. Back then, with four young children, I was so sleep deprived. So I'd lie in bed and think, I'll look that verse up tomorrow. But soon I couldn't stand the suspense. God, I'd say, I'll get up and look that verse up. But please, make it so I'm not tired tomorrow. You know how grumpy I get. And guess what? I always got an amazing word of wisdom, and I wasn't ever tired the next day. Over the years, I have learned to not ask God, what have you done for me lately? We have a history, he and I. I trust him completely, and he blesses me with all that I need. A month ago, I was short of money, and I wondered if I should change my tithe to reflect this shortage. God, I thought, I'm just going to lower this amount because I'm not sure if the rest of my money is coming in at the end of the month. Yes, you know, God said. I knew I had to give my usual amount. I realized this wasn't about my predicament. Instead, it was about His faithfulness. He was bigger than any situation I would come across. So even though I was short of money, I gave my usual amount. A few nights later, I received a letter in my mailbox. Dear Jan, a kind person once gave me a break. I promised I would pay it forward someday. Please accept this and know that God loves you. Have a blessed day. Behind the letter in the envelope was a $50 bill. In excitement, I grabbed it to show my son how God was providing for us. To my surprise, there was another $50 behind it, and behind that was another 50, and another, and another, and on it went. There was a total of, well, there was a lot of money in that envelope. We couldn't believe it. God was once again our provider.
One of the greatest blessings I have received is how he has allowed me to share my faith. When I'm going through these difficult, uncertain times, I'm asked, how are you coping so well? Why are you so peaceful and confident? I get to tell them why. Because God is in control of my life. And deep down, even though I'm scared and I know things look bleak, God is always with me and he has never, ever let me down. When you are meek, you are strong, but gentle. Life is peaceful, softer. Meekness is laying down your power and realizing that you have no wisdom apart from what God tells you. It's finding the strength to forgive. Make no mistake, life is not always easy. I've had to take a stand. I've had to stand up for myself, for others, for what's right. Now, I never feel like I have to control people. By the same token, I don't feel controlled by people anymore either. I'm only controlled by the Lord. You see, one of the most rewarding things you can do is to be like that stallion that allows itself to be controlled by its rider. Submit control to God. By giving everything to God and to God alone, you can experience the wonderful strength of being meek.